Guys, I've been waiting so long to finally tell you this in a video, but iOS 10.3 is finally available to the public. It's a Monday, it's kind of what I predicted, and after going through seven betas of iOS 10.3, it's now out to the general public. So if you have a device capable of running iOS 10, you can jump into settings, software update, and update to iOS 10.3. So just in case you forgot from my first video on iOS 10.3, let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in this software. So if you have a pair of AirPods, this is kind of a major release for you. And when uh, I was using, I think, beta 2 or beta 3 on my device, this feature came in so clutch and I almost lost my AirPods if it weren't for this feature. So if you open up Find My iPhone, there's a new feature called Find My AirPods. And if I connect my AirPods, so let's say you're listening to uh, music uh, in the car or something or in an airplane and your AirPods are connected, but one of them falls out, one of them goes on the floor. Well, all you have to do now is open up Find My iPhone, click on My AirPods and play a sound and you should hear the sound playing on my, on my AirPods here. So I'll hold it up to the camera. And then you can hit stop playing right there. And uh, yeah, that uh, came in uh, very, very useful when I accidentally knocked my AirPod out of my ear. It ended up being uh, stuck in the hood in my hoodie and it drove me crazy, but I finally found it because uh, of that feature. It's really useful and uh, I uh, really thank Apple for adding it in 10.3. So uh, the next feature here is there is a slightly new animation when opening up apps in iOS 10.3. You can see if I open and close the apps really quickly, if you look at the corners of the apps, it kind of opens more rounded on the corners. It's very, very slight, but compared to iOS 10.2, uh, it really looks a bit more rounded when you're opening up applications. Uh, to me, it's not as noticeable because I've been running iOS 10.3 uh, for quite a while now, but if you open up applications uh, and you're just coming from 10.2, you will notice that difference uh, in the applications, how the edges are a bit more rounded. So another cool feature is in Maps. Now if I quickly uh, get out of here so you don't see my location. Uh, you can see here in Maps, there is now a new weather tab on the bottom right. You can see the weather for that location that you're viewing on screen. And if you uh, 3D touch into it, you can actually see the weather uh, for that area uh, for the upcoming hours. So really useful. I actually used this uh, yesterday when, it, when I was actually on a road trip uh, to see if it was going to rain in my area. So very useful. And uh, I'm really happy that Apple added that in 10.3. So another new feature, if we jump into settings, you can see here that there is a brand new section at the top that says Apple ID, iCloud, iTunes, and App Store. So this is pretty much the unified tab for everything related to you, related to your Apple ID, your iCloud, your uh, iCloud storage, your subscriptions, pretty much everything related to you and your Apple ID and iCloud will be found in this tab. Uh, you can see here that uh, it shows my name, I can set up my, I can change my name, phone number, email, security, shipping, pretty much everything. So if you ever want to change your password or something related to your account, there is now one unified section uh, on your actual iPhone now instead of going to the Apple website to do that. And quickly here, another very small change is in settings if you're changing or entering your passcode. Uh, instead of just being little lines here that you have to fill out, uh, as you enter a passcode, it's just these little dots uh, that get filled out as you enter a passcode. So a slight design change, but I figured it's worth mentioning. And finally, possibly one of the more substantial changes to this update that hints at iOS 11 is under settings, general, and then about, and then under applications. And it will actually show you uh, the app compatibility of some of the applications on your device. So it says that these apps may slow down your iPhone and will not work with future versions of iOS. So that's saying that these uh, applications won't work with the new Apple file system, uh, the new way that iOS 11 is going to be coded. Uh, I don't know much about coding and stuff like that, but pretty much uh, these old applications won't work with iOS 11. So uh, it's telling you that you can contact the app developer if you click on these applications. And uh, yeah, so it's just telling you that these applications may be uh, not able to work on your iPhone in future uh, versions of iOS. So uh, kind of nice that Apple tells you this now. And uh, that's pretty much it for updates in iOS 10.3. Again, the major changes here uh, being Find My AirPods and that new 3D Touch action in Maps. There are a few small things like Siri can now tell you cricket scores. So if I ask her, tell me cricket scores. Okay, Mike, here's what I found. Okay, so it didn't really work. Let's try again. What are the cricket scores? Cricket coming up. There we go. Here are the 
scores from the ICC between last Friday and yesterday. So now it works for cricket scores. So you have to say it a certain way. Otherwise, it'll try to find you a, a location. But uh, yeah, Siri can now take cricket scores and uh, just some other very minor tweaks in the background to make this software uh, run faster. So guys, tell me what you think about this in the comments below. Are you excited for iOS 10.3 or are you more looking forward to iOS 11? Uh, when a new iOS beta does come out, you can uh, rest assured that I will have a video for you. So uh, look forward to that when the next iOS beta comes out. I love covering these betas for you. And uh, iOS 10.3, it was pretty fun. And uh, although there was a lot of betas, uh, you guys seem to really like my videos uh, updating you uh, pretty much every week <clears throat> when Apple released a new beta. So uh, yeah, again, like this video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. My name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video that is not about iOS 10.3. All right, see you guys.